here comes our first new mysterious Vendu ship. And there is only one source that I can find any information about this new ship, which is Star Citizen Wiki. And in Star Citizen Wiki, they call it the Vendu Bob, which I think is sort of a placeholder for now. So we just call it the Vendu Bob. Let's take a look at the Vendu Bob. Let's see what information can we probe just by looking at it. First thing comes to my mind is this looks like a fish, like a Nemo in Finding Nemo. You see all those lights or the gun ports in front? Feels like eyes. And the head is extruded. I think the cockpits are inside. And funny thing is look at the back. It got a tail. I wonder what that is for. It also has these fins and spikes all over the ship. So what is this ship for? Now we have to begin our speculations. First is what size is the ship? If you look around, you can see the Vendu Void Bombers. And the Vendu Bob is of the similar size of the Void Bombers, if not smaller. And the Vendu Void Bomber is 124 meters long. To give you a perspective, the Hao C is only 104 meters long when the cargo spindle is deployed. But the Vendu Bob in this scene looks very, very small because the background is a giant Vendu kingship. Imagine the size. And the Vendu Bob is no small ship. So the bigger the ship, the heavier it is. And if it's a heavier ship, then what function will it serve? There are two speculations. One is from Star Citizen Wiki, and one is my own assumption. So let's talk about the Star Citizen Wiki's assumption. In Star Citizen Wiki, they say this ship is a heavy gunship. And that is based on one of the scenes where Admiral Bishop is using the CIC's hollow command deck to command ships when he said Corvus redirect to fill the gap and take those gunboats off integrity. And he used the name gunboats. Let's take a look. Argus, shift your position back and drift eight degrees off x-axis. That should bring that moiler into your field of fire. Corvus, Redirect to fill the gap and take those gunboats off integrity. However, I am not very convinced. There are a few reasons. Number one is I haven't seen this ship fire a single shot through this whole gameplay video. Maybe it's because it's too far. And second, compare with the Void Bomber, this ship looks more compact into a big fat hull. The Void Bomber, you can see all those wings standing out. And you can mount our points, missiles on those wings. You can even see the front, the boarding craft. But for Vendu Bob, it's more compact hull. So where do you mount those hard points? Of course, the front. You can see maybe that's the hard points. But honestly, I don't see serious weapons mounted on the ship, just based on this picture here. Where is plasma cannons? Where are the tachyon cannons? Where are the missiles? So I am not convinced. And third, it's also based on the scene when Emma Bishop said, uh, fill the gap and take out those gunboats. And then the next scene, watch closely, the Corvus turned its big guns and fired at the Vendu Hunter. See those projectiles lens? It's on the Hunter, not the Bob in front of the Hunter. So that's what I think, what Admiral Bishop means. Gunboats means the Vendu Hunter. The Hunter are furious Corvettes, heavy, heavy Corvettes with so many big weaponries and boresight firing cannons as well. So that's what I think he means. That's the gunboat, not just the gunship, but gunboat. So here comes my assumption about what Bob is. I think it's a boarding craft. It's a troop carrier, especially the tail. Look at the tail. It's not just a tail just for aesthetics. I think it serves as a ramp. You don't have to lower it. Just open the back door and then the troops are coming in and out. In one bob, you probably can fill a whole legion of troops. And that ramp is huge. So you probably can also fit a lot of ground vehicles, Vendu ground vehicles or hover bikes 
for invasion purposes. After you break the orbital defenses, you can land all these bobs on the ground in different regions on the planet. And you send out all those troops with all those vehicles and just invade the whole planet. You can see on this scene, there are so many bobs around the kingship. It's not really too far in front of the kingship, it's around the kingship. So you send out those hunter destroyers to break the defenses of the orbital line, right? And then the kingship is actually protecting those bobs. Because if you send out bobs to the front, the bob doesn't seem to have a lot of heavy weaponry. So you don't want the bobs to get destroyed. You want to break the orbital defenses first. And then the bob will go with the kingship to land on the planet and then unload the troops to invade the planet. So that's what I think the bob is. But of course, all these are assumptions. There is no official saying of what Bob truly is. So it's still a mystery. So that is our mystery ship number one, the Vendu Bob. Here comes our second mysterious new Vendu ship. This is a huge ship. First, let's look at the exteriors of the ship. This ship is a little special because it's more like a silver than black. Most of the Vendu ships are black. But this one is silver with some black contrast on it. And Star Citizen Wiki give it a really cool and funny name. It's called the Vendu Mech Typhoon Face. I think it's because the ship looks like a typhoon, kind of like a tornado kind of a look if you look from the front. But first of all, we know that this ship looks silver. And now let's take a look at the next scene. Let's figure out the size of the ship. This is the zoomed out battle alignment scene in the beginning. You can see under the Vendu kingship, there's a lot of those silver Mike Typhoon face Vendu Typhoon. Let's just call it Vendu Typhoon. So you can see the Vendu Typhoon under the kingship and also on the human side. Under the Kugeri, you see a javelin and compare those two sizes. They look very similar. So now, we kind of know the size of the Vendu Typhoon. It's a capital ship, a javelin sized capital ship, maybe even bigger. You can sort of see from the front. You see, the ship is asymmetrical. It has this claw in the front and the back as a tail, something like that. In the middle, there is a, a circular thing, a teardrop shape inside the ship. And you have so many of the ships around the kingship. This one right here. And you sort of see the red light. I think maybe that's a weapon fire or that's the engine light or something. On this picture, you, you can also see the red light on the side of the ship. And by the way, you see these black things on the side. Are these torpedo ports or missile ports? Something? It's going to be serve as something, right? And underneath the ship, you see the skeletons. Also, here is the image for the holographic deck. You see the shape of the ship. One claw in the front and the tail in the back. It's like spears. I wonder if the first claw, is that a weapon or not? Is that a real gun? You can fire. It's really hard to tell what kind of weaponry this ship has. You don't see the hard points directly on the ship, but you see so many of these ships come together with the kingship. So that's the second mysterious ship. And I have no assumptions because it's a capital ship. It can be anything. It's the size of the javelin. So it must have a lot of hard points around the ship and it can carry other ships. Anything more tactical, there's just no information about it. That's why that's the second mysterious ship that's revealed during the Squadron 42 gameplay. Hey, if you have any assumptions, the comment section for this video is all yours. Feel free. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.